Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing our living room and our dining room. This is how we decorate our house in the rental house that we're in. If you missed my other videos, I'll have one linked here. But basically we're living in a rental house while our actual house that we purchased is going under renovation. So these pieces are all not custom to the house, but pieces I was able to order and get in here pretty fast. And I wanted to do this video because I really love some of these pieces and I thought I'd share because hopefully you will too. I'm gonna take you guys through the rooms that we're redoing here just to make it homey and fun while we're living here. And we're also prepping for the new baby that's coming in about two months. So today we're doing a living room reveal of our rental property. For this room, I went with the color Dimnity from Faro and Ball. I really liked how it has like a little bit of a warm tone to it while still being a white. And it almost has like a little bit of a vanilla look to it. The pieces that I ordered for this room hopefully all look really good together once I install everything. But I ordered a round, it's like a little bit of an off-white couch, a really pretty rug that's a mauve color. I'm doing a round table for the coffee table that's a little bit of a lighter shade of wood. And we're doing two round chairs to kind of set everything almost like a little seating area. And I ordered a side console table here for a lamp and a mirror, really pretty curtains that are going to be floor to ceiling and a chair over here that we can sit in. I ordered a really pretty mantle mirror that has a little bit of wave in it. Once everything gets delivered, I will be putting everything together and I'm really excited for the final result. So this little area in our living room, I love how this came out. This is sometimes a little area that we quickly check if everything's good and throw our keys here before we walk out the door. This lamp, I fell in love with this. I actually found this designer on Instagram. I'll link his bio, or I'll link his um, handle below in the description, but this is called the Mush Lamp and I'm obsessed with it. It is made of fiberglass and it's very, very cool. This table is from All Modern. I love the round edges on this and the black just kind of brought everything all together. The mirror is also from them, so I will link that below, but I just love how this space really, all these pieces really fit well here and I love how it came together. This is from a designer on Etsy that she does really amazing handmade, I guess ceramic or pot, not sure, but I love this and I wanna get another one from her because they're so good. Oh, and then I've been just doing faux flowers because, you know, trying to get the ranunculuses or peonies from Trader Joe's when they come out and they're always gone. So for that, that's what we're doing in the meantime. <music> So the rental house had different sconces here. So I swapped these out with these sconces from Lulu and Georgia. And I feel like this gave it more of an updated modern look. So we'll swap the sconces again before we move out. So all the updates that we did are all rental friendly. This mirror, I'm obsessed with this mirror. I need to figure out how we can put this in our new place somehow, some area for it. This is also from Lulu and Georgia. And I love the rounded scallop top. It looks really pretty. Just for an idea, I'm 5'10", and look at how much this mirror really covers the wall. I honestly wasn't sure what to put here besides a mirror because I feel like there's a lot to cover and we don't have a TV. Well, we do, but we don't put it in the living room. We roll it around the house as necessary, so it's a little bit more of an added step to set up the TV when we want to watch something. So for the most part, we're not watching TV. I love that the center of the living room is the fireplace and it makes it, we're in, when we're in here, we're talking, we're hanging out, we're not tuning, tuning each other out with the television. So I really love how this came together. I love how I'm able to film while he naps. This carrier has been an absolute lifesaver, but I am obsessed. It's so funny because when we had Poppy, we never put her in a carrier because one of us was always holding her. But now with him, it's like I have to be hands-free that I've, he's like learned to take all his naps in the carrier, which is really convenient for me. The couch, this is from Interior Icons. I was really, really happy with the customer service there. I feel like everything went really well with the delivery and they're really helpful. 
love this couch and I'm not super precious about making sure we don't really eat in here so it doesn't get dirty but Poppy has her chair that she eats on in the dining room so I really don't have her eat snacks in here but our shoes are off when we come inside the house so I kind of just let her do whatever on here she'll color in here and you know so I'm not so worried about the couch I feel like if you're gonna get furniture and you have kids you just have to live in it and these pillows are I feel like they're both from Lulu and Georgia maybe that one is from our previous house might be this painting is from Lulu in Georgia. I wanted something to bring in the warmth and I loved the brown painting. I'm not great with styling art. I feel like I was hesitant on wondering if this should have two pieces. I still wonder if it should have two, but I like it and it kind of centers the room. But it is nice that we're working with an interior design team for our other house because I do question sometimes if I'm doing the right proportion. So it's nice when someone's like, yes, this looks good, you know. So I'm actually pretty proud of how things came together with just winging it and not really having any formal training in, no, no training in design or anything. This like vase is from Lulu in Georgia and this side table is from our previous house. So when we sold our other house, the one that we first redid before we bought our other one, the new owners purchased everything. They were moving from Miami and they purchased everything furnished. I was gonna keep a few pieces, but they actually offered to buy those ones too. So this is one of the pieces that I got to bring with me because I really love it and I feel like it can work in different spaces. But we, when we moved into the rental, we literally had to start over from no furniture, which was really interesting. This rug is from Lulu in Georgia. It's the Jake Arnold collection and I am literally obsessed with it. I was super picky about a rug in here because I wanted something really soft and comfortable because I want to be able to sit on the floor and hang out by the table. With redoing our other house, one of the pieces that we splurged on was buying nice rugs for each of the room that was really comfortable and cozy. And now with doing this, I knew I wanted a rug like that. I didn't want like a thin braided rug or anything that would be too itchy if you sat down on it. I love this rug. I need to figure out how we can put it in our other house. And it took a while to get it. I was on back order for a little bit, but it is so good I'm obsessed with it and I, they also had it in the I think it was like a copper color an orangish tone and that was really pretty I was going back and forth on those but I love I love how this came out the chairs in here the chairs are from Lulu in Georgia I love these chairs they're actually really comfortable and we've been when we have our friends over everyone just kind of sits in here and hangs out and all the seating has really worked out for our family size and for having friends over so it's been good okay so for the table i really wanted something round because when he starts walking so at our other house we had a marble table that was stone and it had sharp corners and when poppy started walking i was so freaked out about her being in there and hitting her head if she fell with this one a square pointy table wasn't an option i had to do something round and i thought wood was pretty um, this is pretty durable and we've spilled things on here and it's been good. I have got these little stone pieces from Anastasia at home. I love their stoneware. Everything is so good. And I thought the, the vibe of the colors in here really blended with the rug. And I moved this little tray around the house, depending on what I need it for. Okay. Let's talk about this chair. So when I first ordered this chair, I originally had it in my room in the corner. I found another one that fits better in the space in there, which you'll see when we post that video. But this one I got from Interior Icons, love it, right? So I pull it out here, and originally on the table I had a candle snuffer. It was a gold, it was kind of heavy. And I come out here and Poppy is hitting the candle snuffer on the side of whatever this, what is this called? The armrest. The armrest. So I hear like little Dean, I'm like, oh, she's probably like doing her music out there, you know? Or like, she's like working on something. So I come out here, I'm like, oh, Poppy, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm just playing with this. And she's hitting it being so cute. But I'm like, oh my gosh, it's chipping off the wood. So whatever. But I bought this little repair kit from Amazon. This was like patch wood. I'm like, well, you know, I have a toddler, so could have expected that to happen. But yeah, so every time she comes in here, she goes, I won't do that anymore. I'm like, thank you so much, sweetie. You're really, really special about that. This ottoman I am obsessed with. I ordered this one and I think it took like three months to get here, 
it's a pretty, I think this one is from CB2 or Pottery Barn, one of the two. I'll link it below. But this one's really, really so soft. Poppy loves sitting on this and always like plays with it. But this is a really comfortable sit and something that I want to also take. I want to take as many pieces as we can over to our new house, but some pieces in our new house are going to be custom made for the space. So we may resell some of these pieces after. I don't even know. But this one, I feel like we can move it around and it's small enough to where it should work. But I really, really love this piece here. I wasn't sure exactly what to put here at first because we weren't sure if some of the playroom items were gonna spill over. So this is a space where we have games, items that we can pull out and play together. There's some talking point cards. There's just an area that we can kind of bring everyone together. But I do love that it has the dark coloring with the wood. I feel like that really grounds the space. It kind of brings in the chairs and the wood of the table too. This table piece is also from Lulu and Georgia. A lot of these pieces are the Lulu and Georgia Sarah Sherman Samuel collab they did. I love all her pieces. And they are usually sell pretty quickly. So when I saw that they went on sale, I got them but they sell out pretty quickly and they're usually on back order. So if you see her pieces on there, they're always really, really cute. The art piece is from Lulu and Georgia. I'm really happy with their art selection on there. They have fun little pieces and kind of gives you a different view of how to style it in the room too, which I love. And this vase, oh, these, po these um, poppy flowers are from Poppy's first birthday, <laughs> her birthday party. I put some of the fake flowers all around with the real ones, just really add in all the poppies. This vase is from Anastasia Home, the same one that I have from the, or it's Anastasia Home and I'll put the link, but it was a collab they did, but it has the stoneware type vibe that they do and it's really, really heavy. So this is one that I love. It's really, really pretty. I love this lamp. This is Jake Arnold's collection with, again, I'll put the link. There's so many of those furniture stores that I was ordering from. But I love this and it's, it's on a dimmer so you can set the mood in here. A lot of these lights, Anthony has put, you can swap the light bulb out. What are those light bulbs that you got, the smart light bulbs? Yeah, they can control them on your phone. Yeah, so all, this one did come with the dimmers but the other ones in here, we, sw we swapped it to a dimmer light bulb. So that way we can make the mood really fun and cozy in here at night with the fireplace and have the dim lights, I love that. I love an accent light. That is what I learned from our other house. Every room had a really cool, some type of lighting, and we loved that. We always use them. So with the rental, we really wanted to incorporate that too. I like how this has like the texture and the curves. It kind of looks like an antique piece. I am obsessed with these curtains. These are from Nordic Knots. And what I love about them, they look very, very luxe. And the nice thing is on their website, you can order them in the specific inches to make sure that it fits exactly how you want it to. What I found with ordering curtains, they're so difficult for certain some of the rooms. I've had to order them and then take them to the dry cleaners, have them, or not the dry cleaners, the tailor, and have them trim the pieces, then put them back over, then bring them back over here. And I found the process is just very cumbersome if some of the websites don't let you order the exact measurement. So these were so convenient. They came same day we hung them, no adjustments needed, so nice. And they're, they just feel amazing, really pretty. They let in such, I wanted curtains in here that weren't a blackout. I wanted something that really filtered in the light because we don't like people when you walk by to be able to walk and see in. So I like to have the curtains closed but I do like to have some of the light filtering through. And I'm definitely one of those people that shuts all my blinds at night and I don't have one window exposed because I always think that someone's gonna be lurking in the window and you won't be able to see them. That's like the creepiest thing ever. So an all glass house, I could never live in it. I would be so scared. So these are amazing. I will link them. They come in other colors too. I'm pretty sure this one is the sand or I'm not sure what the name is, but of the color, but I'll link everything below because I'm really happy with how all these pieces came together. So this chair is from one of the furniture stores, can't think at the moment, but it's very, very comfortable and it actually is lighter than it looks so you can move it around. And we pulled it in here when people come over 
kind of moved it around wherever works. This is an area where we do our breath work. I'll also do my devotion in the morning here. And it's been a space where we turn the chair out to the light and kind of get light on our face. It's made a really relaxing morning in here, just having a little sitting corner that's away from everything else. And this is something we're gonna incorporate in our new house too, now knowing how we loved using the space. So we're gonna have a separate little sitting area for that ritual too every morning. So these are just faux flowers. And I got this idea, let me show you, from Arvin Alano on Instagram. I love his account. He does such good interior design and his style is just so good. So basically these I got from Michael's or wherever and I just twisted them. He did, he did this tutorial on his account, which is how I got the idea, but you twist them and it makes them more of kind of more of like a, they don't look as cheap basically when you do this. And I always get compliments when people come over, they're like, where did you get those flowers? I'm like, oh, by the way, they are fake. Cause these ones could actually look like real ones cause they're just bulbs, but yeah, I love that. It's really cute. I want to get another color, but the faux, fa faux flowers really work out for me with not having to worry about watering them. But in our new house, we will have real plants in the house because it does help the air and it does clean the air. So the vase, this is from net porte I think it's like Marlowe and Marlowe. Also, we'll link that. That was from our other house, and this is a vase that I love. It goes with everything. And this table is an indoor-outdoor table, so you could have it on the patio outside if you want but it's from Lulu in Georgia, but it's pretty sturdy and it's a little bit heavy, but I like it. You don't have to worry about putting a coaster down. Pretty durable, we've spilled things and I put my coffee on there without a coaster and it's good. Now I'm gonna take you in to show our dining room and what we did there. I love our dining room, so let's head on over. So this is the dining room. We already painted it this gorgeous color. It was originally all white and it came with this chandelier. So my inspo for this room is I wanted it to feel like a restaurant, feel very cozy and a little bit more moody than the rest of the house. So with the rental property, all the furniture that I purchased, I wanted everything in stock and ready to ship. I also didn't spend a ton of money on vintage pieces or sourcing really high end items because we're gonna be here for a year and truthfully, I don't know if some of these pieces are gonna work in our new house. I did splurge on some vases, mirrors, things that I know that I can take over, but as far as furniture pieces, I'm keeping them very generic and something that we'll probably have to resell afterwards. So for the dining table, I went with this dark wood color. I feel like that will help make the room feel also really cozy. I really like these chairs. The chairs have a really nice, comfortable cushion. It's something that I really wanted for the dining table because me and Anthony are also gonna be working here during the day and it's gonna be like a workstation, but also we're gonna have family dinners at night. So I want it to be really comfortable. For the decor on the walls, I'm gonna keep it really simple, but I did order a lighter oak side table that I thought would be good for serving food and having a little bit more table space. And I ordered a really beautiful Rachel Donuth mirror that I can hang here. And that's something that I'm hoping to take to the powder room for the new house afterwards. So I'm excited to put this room together once all the pieces come in. So when we first toured this house, I loved the dining room had the opportunity to be closed off and have it more closed off to the other rooms. I had to switch him around because this is the other way that he likes to be held after he nursed. Hi. Are you such a squishy? Anthony holds him the best like this, but what are you doing? Are you a bobblehead? I cannot believe he's gonna be almost three months. This is crazy. How have you been around for three months almost? Huh? I don't know how this is possible. So when we first toured this rental house, I love that the dining room had the ability to be closed off from the kitchen. And that's one of the things we learned from redoing our first house. Really? When we'd have people over and we'd have dinner, the kitchen smells were all, everything was just all in one area. We loved the design of the kitchen, but we feel like for the next house, we knew we wanted a closed off space. So I love that we're able to try that out here and see how we love it. So far, I love being able to close everything off. The only thing is here, Poppy's playroom connects here. So we're able to eat and see what she's doing, but would be nice if it did have an area that we could shut when she's not in here but the closed in dining room is something we're incorporating into our new house. We do not love an open floor plan. 
And this has been a great way to test that out. I really wanted to have the dining room a little bit darker and moodier, different from the rest of the rooms. I love the paint color. I will put it in the description below, but it just turned out really, really pretty. And we also painted the doors on the inside so that way everything looks very, um, yeah, everything looks very flush and same with the ceiling. So this, I really love how this came out and it looks really pretty against the lighting in here. This dining room table is from Lulu in Georgia. I love it. It's really nice to be able to have family dinners. Everyone comes at the table and we're all, this is kind of like a focal hangout spot for us. And we're really, really big on making sure we all eat together at nighttime. And we didn't have, we didn't have that in place before. And it's been a really fun little thing we look forward to each day. It's pretty durable. There's been some things that happened to it. And <laughs> let me show you, for example, Jaden decided to put some hot oil on here when the packaging said, keep away from all furniture. And it burned, I don't even know what happened. It like burned it and we're like, well, I tried to repair it. Yeah, it turned into a whole project. But we're like, you know what? It is what it is. This is what happens when you have kids and it's not a big deal. So what we found that has worked really well for these chairs, these chairs, I wanted something really comfortable. So if we were at our computer, we wanted to work here, this would be something that we could sit in for a while. But with Poppy, we're not big on high chairs. We want her to learn how to sit at the table. And when we're at a restaurant, it works really well too because she's used to sitting on a chair. So. What I found has worked really well is just getting a cover from Amazon. This comes like in a six pack and I have a little plastic thing underneath it. Basically, I just wash these covers, let her spill, do whatever. As long as she sits on her chair, which she's really good on, she, I say, sit on your chair and you can eat. When you're done eating, then we can get up and we can do something else. So she knows that this is her chair and she's very protective of it. But I just wash this and when people came over, or and then when people come over, I just take this off and it's fine, there's no stains. So that was the way I felt that worked out for having a toddler. So this light fixture, I found it on Anthropology, and I really loved it. It was on like their best seller list. So I was just scrolling through different of their home furnishings. And I thought it'd be perfect because I wanted something that was a little bit more of a statement piece for the chandelier. When we first moved in here, the chandelier was like a very fancy crystal chandelier. So we'll swap that back when we move out but this is something that I could easily put in a room in our other house. So I love this. This is also on a dimmer, so we're able to dim the lights and it kind of sets the mood for when we eat dinner, we dim it really low and then during the day, we'll leave it like this. This vase is from Sophie Lou Jacobson. She has really pretty vases, all hand-blown glass, really nice. So I wanted something from hers, really pretty, and of course my faux flowers, but when I have real ones, I swap those out. Are you gonna be a thumb sucker, mister? Oh, anyway. I actually would prefer him be a thumb sucker because then it'd be nice with him just self-soothing to go to sleep. I would really like that. So cute, because sometimes I can hear him in the night. He's like, he's like, you know, your hand, you're such a sweet boy. It's so precious, I could just squish him. All right, let's come over here. This mirror, I absolutely love. My idea for this mirror is to move it into our guest bathroom or the, not the guest bathroom, the powder area where it's just gonna have a sink and a really pretty light, really pretty mirror. So that's what my idea is for this one, but we'll see. I don't even know if it would fit in the powder room at our new place, but I love this mirror. It will go somewhere in our new house. This is from Rachel Donut, and I love her items. She has really pretty chairs. Just love, love this piece. This is from Lulu in Georgia. We use this to keep all of our nicer glassware in there. And we also use it to serve food during Thanksgiving. We had everything laid out. We had people over, we lay out everything over here. It's made, made it really convenient because there is really no other storage in here. So we had to put something in that we could use for that. And this has worked out. I, I wanted the lighter wood to offset the walls. Yes. It's really pretty. This, I thought this was perfect because it really flowed well. This is from All Modern. And, what? And this piece is very sturdy. It came in a few other colors too, but I really love the lamp. 
Also helps give a little bit more light in here because it is darker. This art piece is from Lulu in Georgia. I literally ordered all the art and just said, okay, we're gonna furnish it with this. But at our new place, we will be sourcing pieces that are from local artists and trying to get pieces that we'll have for a long time in there. But I really love this piece. I thought, you know, it feels really nice and it looks really cute. I love that I had the moodier colors in here and I just really love this piece. So it worked out being able to order something quickly. This lamp is from Athena Calderon. She had a collab with one of the furniture stores. I'll link it below, but I love this one. It's on a little um, twist clip or you can also put a dimmer light on it. So this is from her collab from the furniture store. I'll link it below. We are really happy with our space right now. It feels very homey. We will have a moody dining room in our new place from the current designs, but there are gonna be a lot of changes and some new exciting designs in our new house. So I'm excited to share, you, share those with you when that is completely finished, but that's a longer process because it is gonna be our forever home. Don't forget to click the links in the description to see where everything is from, and I will see you guys next week, bye. Bye. Say bye-bye, got good news.